Now let's also give some sort of visual representation of when we don't have something targeted. So we'll just make another, that can be private, we don't need a public here. Public void, deselect, target. And it's pretty much the exact same thing, except we're going to change its color to blue. And let's also make our selected target equal to null. So we'll go back into Unity. So after we're done selecting targets, they should turn blue. So we start off by selecting Evil QB3. And we need a way to de we're not calling deselect now. So let's move our select target outside of that else. We'll put it here. And we'll add our deselect target right above here. This way here we deselect our target, turning it blue, then we'll select our new target, then call our select target, which will turn it red. So let's try that out. Make sure you save it. Go back to our game, hit play, let's go to our scene view, hit tab, first one turns red, hit tab again, it'll turn blue and the next one turns red, hit tab again, and so on. Great. Now there's one thing we're left that we should do, if we notice if we actually start it up, select a target and start running towards it when we go to attack we're going to get an error that's because we don't have a target selected for our player attack script so let's go back to Romano development let's go into our select target and let's get a reference to our player attack script so player attack we're just going to call it PA is equal to Actually, we just have to get component here, but we'll have to typecast it. So player attack, get component, and our component will be called player attack. Then we'll want to assign the target of our player attack. be our selected target. If I spell it right. And since our selected target here is a transform and our other one wants a game object, we'll have to get the game object of the of our selected target transform. So game object. And we should put an equals in here. So let's try that again. So we'll go to our attack. Uh, we got an error. What did we do wrong? We used a capital G where we should use a small g. So we'll go back in, that should disappear. Now if we'll keep an eye on the target over here. When we hit play and we use the tab key, there we go. We'll notice that it cycles through as well. So let's run up to evil QB2. Hit our attack key. And there we go. Now we're getting multiple menu bars or health bars for the mobs and we'll work on that a little bit later on so that only the menu bar the current one we have selected shows up now these videos are starting to run a little bit long so i'm going to end this one here and i'll see you next week where we'll work on cleaning up a few of the things that we have going on have fun